guys, what is up? It is Rosa and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a what sold on eBay for the first couple weeks of January, rolling over to the end of December. I have 15 items to show you today, so if you guys are interested to know what sold for me the last couple of weeks, make sure to keep on watching. Also, please make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't entered the Bright Patch fam and we have fun here all the time. I'm And let's go ahead and get started with the video. Let's get right into it. We have a Nick and Zoe 2X Cardigan sweater, women's striped multicolor metallic threads sweater cardigan like I mentioned I sold it for $22.50 plus $6.50 shipping I realized that Nick and Zoe actually sells a lot better on eBay than it does on Poshmark I still list it on both platforms but Nick and Zoe does um, do better on eBay I've sold I think all of my Nick and Zoe on eBay so if you guys are looking and you find Nick and Zoe and it's in good condition pick it up but it's more of an eBay seller than a Poshmark seller in my closets I guess or in my inventory next item was something that I just had in my closet forever or not closet my eBay store forever it was also on my Poshmark everything by the way that I sell on eBay probably 85% of it is on Poshmark it depends because I do sell electronic items too like DVDs um, laser discs and um, games on eBay so like 85% of eBay is also on Poshmark this was a cargo cosmetics lip gloss sunset Boulevard ELG 16.15 fluent ounces new in box lip gloss this I sold for a dollar 65 with free shipping I don't understand why I didn't figure out that I had free shipping on it but you guys know sometimes I make mistakes and forget that there's free shipping on something so that was a struggle. Next is my most exciting sale of ever. This is my most highest price sale, also the hardest shipping sale, everything, and it was on eBay. And this is a Wilson's Leather Women's Long Leather Suede Faux Fur Heavy Jacket Size Extra Large. I got this last year in the wintertime from a coworker of mine. She just gave it to me. It was new with tags. And I sold it for, it was originally $169.99 but I sold it for $125 plus $10.99 shipping. Oh my God, you guys, uh, you have no idea how like euphoric it is to, to sell something for like such a high price. I have never sold anything for such a high price before. It was new in tags, originally $300, so this person got a really good deal on it and like literally this paid for some stuff so i was so excited that this was a high ticketed item and i'm definitely gonna look for more wilson's leather in like the thrift stores and things like that i don't know how much i'd pay for it because this did stay for like a good solid year so next is a nike women's new with tag pro dry fit shorts size small i sold it for 19.88 plus free shipping these were the nike pro shorts that i bought from tj maxx you guys should have seen that haul maybe a week or two ago. It went up my TJ Maxx retail arbitrage. Next, I sold a Zara Women's Tweed Button Detail Blazer size small with pockets. I sold it for $25 with $6.99 shipping. This was another thrift find. I thought it was super cute. I thought it would sell for a little bit more, but alas, Zara is like that for me. It like ranges between like $15 all the way to $30. Like it's very rare for me to get ones that are that are more than $30 like sell more than 30 so that was the perfect range for me next we have these Victoria's Secret pink women's yoga calf length leggings size small black and gray I sold these for $17 with free shipping I just got these at, I think I got them at Salvo's for like super cheap because I got them on 50% off sale so I made a good profit there this is the Zella Women's Black Workout Thick Warm Running Jacket Coat, size extra large. I had it up for $36.29, but it sold for $24 plus $6.50 shipping. I thought this would sell for like $40 bucks. straight up. I thought it would sell for $40, bucks, but I price my stuff sometimes a little too high um, and non-realistic sometimes, But so I took this offer instead. I had it up for $50 bucks on Poshmark, but I sold it for $24 on um, eBay. Sometimes it is what it is. You are going to sell things sometimes cheaper, sometimes more than you would on Poshmark. Next, I sold this Moonchild Women's Moon Print Love to Dream size small tank top. I sold it for $9 with free shipping. This was just a very chilled out, like $2 type buy from Salvo. So I was like okay with it. I wasn't like super happy, but again, it wasn't anything that was like high end or anything like that. So I just sold it. Next, thank God this ugly thing is out of my closet. I personally don't think it's cute. I really hope the person who bought it 
like doesn't hate me for this but um i got this in that crazy ebay mystery unboxing thing remember like last year i did a unboxing or an unboxing for an ebay box that i got it was like 30 items for 150 bucks and everything was crap yeah this was in it i sold it for five dollars with 2.99 shipping i just wanted to get rid of it it was an emily strapless fit and flare floral geometric dress size medium i did not like it i was uh, i thought it was ugly the shape was really cute i just hated the pattern so next i sold a lafayette 148 women's plus size 16 black zipper front jacket i thought this was the cutest jacket and um sometimes with plus size you can't find like super super cute things but this was super super sports luxe in my department type oh so cute it was i mean you'll see, you see a picture of it but like i mentioned it's black it has a really nice like deep kind of slit in the front it zips both sides so you can wear it in any kind of style and it's like this really nice sporty weather material i just thought it was super cute i sold it for 45.88 plus free shipping sold for full price and just went i was like thank you i love lafayette 148 when I can find really cute stuff. I sell almost all of my Lafayette 148s on eBay. Sometimes they go on Poshmark, but it's more of an eBay kind of sell. This is a Masters Golf Polo Shirt Jersey Green Size Extra Large Amen Corner Augusta. I don't know what the hell that means. I think it was that this shirt is from that Masters Golf Tournament in Augusta, I'm assuming. Sold it for 10 bucks. Plus 515 shipping. It was on bids because I had it for so long and I was over it at this point. Rally Roots can sell these like this in like split second 30, 40, 50 bucks. Me, Masters, golf polos don't really work. So teach his own. Everyone sells something different. Like there's all their stores are different and they sell different things. Mine, the Masters golf polo, maybe if I bought it in a different color, like black or white or, or blue or something, green isn't really the best seller for me. I have four more items left to talk about. The first is a laser disc. I did sell another one of those. I only need to sit down and list the rest of the ones that I have. It's just, I like listing clothes better than I like listing laser discs. But this is a Natural Born Killers laser disc, 19, uh, 1995 widescreen edition. I sold it for $2.20 plus $3.17 shipping. Um, we are slowly but surely getting all these laser discs sold. I realized that when I put them on bids and not buy it now, they actually sell faster than the buy it now. So I put all of them, I think, on bids now. So I'm hoping that they'll just kind of flow. Next is a really exciting one. This is a Bob Mackie button front chambray maple design top plus size 3X spring. That was my log like label for it. Um, this was new with tags, which was really exciting. Um, I sold it for $33.01 plus $6.99 shipping. You guys, I was like in a war with this buyer. Like, originally I had it for 50 something bucks. She gave it to me for like $28 and I was like, no sir, try again. So I countered with 45 she countered with 31 and we literally went up until her final offer was $33. Like it said on eBay, final offer. And I was like, okay, if I don't do this now, then she's not gonna buy it and I'm gonna have to wait again. And I thought $33 was good because I got it for like way less than that. So I took the offer and it was a beautiful Bob Mackie um, item I or Bob McKee, I don't know, but I think it's called Bob Mackie. Next was another laser disc. I was so excited that another laser disc was sold. This one is Stargate, the Stargate. Um, I've never seen this movie actually. So funny story, I've watched the entire Stargate like show everything i've watched the original stargate and then i watched stargate atlantis we actually have it i'm looking at it right now um but i never saw the original stargate so i think i need to sit down and just watch it i heard it wasn't that great but um i still want to watch it just so i could see but i sold it for five dollars and fifty cents plus three dollars and seventeen cents shipping because it is a media mail so it usually takes longer for media mail to ship but it says two to eight days so I shipped it and I don't know where it is right now, so <laughs> sorry of my life. The final item was this Lily by Fermiana Classical Music Side Tail Tunic Top Size Small. I told you guys that I love this top. I thought this top would be perfect for a music teacher or like a composer or something, someone who likes the violin, the piano, whatever. And someone bought it and I really, really hope it's like a teacher or something because it's like the perfect music teacher top. I don't know. I loved it so much and I was so excited to sell it. I sold it for $14 plus $2.99 shipping. 
So yeah, it went for 14 bucks. I was happy with it. And I believe, yep, that is everything for today's video. What did you guys sell in the month of January that you were super excited about? I think my most exciting one was obviously the Wilson's Leather, 125 bucks. Like, thank you very much, sir. I am happy with it. I definitely don't know if I'm going to be taking more long jackets like that because I just don't have the packing to ship it out you guys should have seen me struggle with this freaking jacket That's everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't to the bright patch fan we have fun here all the time and i will see you guys all in the next video thanks so much for watching Bye bye yo what's up i'm the mad hatter i'll pour you tea please don't let it spread does it really matter cause i'm the mad hatter <laughs>